Hey, Internet, it's August 17th, 2009, and holy hell does it feel like we haven't done this in forever. I mean, technically, other than that one on-the-road video, we haven't done this in like a week and a half, which in Internet time is like five years. wonder if anyone's even going to watch this video. But regardless, this was an exciting morning for me because I became an official member of the City of Los Angeles with this City of Los Angeles parking violation. It occurred at 918, 918, 918 in the morning when I pulled into a subway to get this apple juice right here, and then I came out about a minute and 15 seconds and I already had a parking violation. She came in 15 seconds after me. And when I looked into Officer English's eyes or Buck Teeth, one of the two, I'm not really sure, both were kind of fucked up. I thought to myself, if only Officer English had a proper education, she could have become something. Maybe the cure for cancer. Or the king of the meter maids. Or probably not anything in particular. That's mean. I don't think people should be allowed to make fun of, you know, meter maids. It's like a step above being retarded. But let's jump into the news. So good old Texas has written into law that this fall your kids are going to be told the Bible in school. It's mandatory. I'm going to stop doing this accent. It's ridiculous. Teaching the Bible in school isn't a new thing. I mean, when I grew up, they taught me the Bible. But that's because I went to a Catholic school. And they also greeted me on the Bible. And it's kind of weird being Catholic and coming home with a C in religion. God's honest truth. And the reason I got a C in religion is because the nun slash teacher slash child molest I don't know what they do there anymore. Um, said, no, Philip, dogs don't go to heaven. To which I responded, yes, they do, Mrs. Rogerson. They made a movie about it. Which at the time, I thought made me a genius. In news I find confusing because women still exist, scientists have developed a kitchen that cleans itself. And I know what you're thinking, Internet. If a kitchen cleans itself, what is a woman going to do? Well, according to recent research, women are the only people capable of having babies, thus are needed for reproduction. Nifty little side note is women make sandwiches 2.5 times better than any male of our species. So do not fret men. Women still have a purpose. I love you, ladies. In Michael Vicky news, Michael Vick was on 60 Minutes doing that whole, hey guys, I'm totally rehabilitated. I'm totally sorry for what I did. Please let me play football. PR campaign. And he said when he was in jail and those jail cell doors shut for the first time, he realized what he did was wrong and he began to cry. Which is weird because you would think that as you were choking the life out of a dog underwater in a bathtub, you might have a moment where you go, hey, this is probably one of the worst fucking things a person Person could do, but not Michael Vick, because when Michael Vick chokes dogs to death, he closes his eyes and puts on Enya. Killing dogs has never been so serene. But internet, I ask you a question. Would it be as terrible for Michael Vick to have done this if he was Korean and he ate the dog afterwards? Think about it. And a lot of people are angry at the Philadelphia Eagles for picking up Michael Vick. You have to look at the genius in this. One, Michael Vick was actually a pretty decent quarterback. And two, what a better way to make Donovan McNabb look like less of an asshole by hiring a person who killed dogs. Now Donovan McNabb just seems like a pretty decent guy. In some internet-y news, Facebook bought FriendFeed. If you're not familiar with what FriendFeed is, it's like Twitter, but actually so much better, but less popular. It's like the really smart kid in high school who, you know, he actually has a really good personality, but because he's, like, so smart, people are like, oh, I don't want to hang out with that guy, and then I don't go to parties on the weekend, and then I become socially awkward for the rest of my life. Anyway, now if you did follow me on FriendFeed or Twitter or fucking anything, Internet, you would know that I found a picture of Shauna Sand this morning. Shauna Sand, in her own respect, is not notable in any way except for the fact that she was in Playboy, she has large breasts, and she's skinny, which makes her my new best friend. A little something just for the guys, a bunch of pictures of Shauna Sand on the beach looking hot in a very plasticky fake way, which you may be against, but since moving to Los Angeles, I've grown to respect that. I'm just a great guy like that. If you want to see those pictures or the video of my new apartment, which is pretty much in shambles. Click the links in the sidebar. But guys, it's really all that mattered to me this Monday. Trust me, the videos will be better after tomorrow and I have internet at this house. But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Monday. Did I say that already? I don't even know. I'm so fucking out of it. My name's Philip DeFranco and you've just been filled in. S-X-C Films Not sexy S-X-C Films Just been filled in